my dad had passion, and it shows in his work, and I believe in passion. I observe him day in, day out, year after year, and just watching him and knowing him. If I come home from school, or if I came home from work, I would find my dad down in his studio doing his work. He didn't have to say. It. He knew it was his work. I knew it was his work, because he's the one who created it. Nobody else did it for him. I always knew him as a sculptor because he had transitioned by the time I came around from being a figure painter as he was originally trained into sculpture. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was his desire to work in a mode where it was three-dimensional. So not only he could see it, but he could feel it, he could touch it, and experience it in every manner. The whole concept of his art is to be involved. Not just to look at it, to touch it, to experience the whole thing. Yes, it's, his work is supposed to be tactile. Like I say to people who come here, you're supposed to touch them. Well, pretty much there was, I would say two, maybe three themes since 1980 when he really went back to work full time in a sculpture. Mm -hmm. The first was relating to his experience in World War II and the death and destruction that related to that. And then it's sort of like what happens with technology was invading the human life. You can see that like in the Four Guardian series and the final series, which is the last part of his life, is on the brain because he was always curious about brain function and how we function and all the interrelationships between us as humans and the world around us. I keep it going for a very simple reason. I love my dad, I love my family. This is part of my, me and my family. This is my family in a sense. Wow. It may not be biological, but it certainly has the emotional attachment. That's one of the pleasures about living here. It's all times of year, all types of weather, is to see what goes on because the things do change light, whether it be bright sunlight, winter versus summer, clouds like this, like I said, now there's this rainstorm approaching, it always changes, it always makes it interesting, it makes it alive. Yes, it is, I mean, that's the whole point of, of real artwork, is it's uh, taking from the natural, absolute world and giving your own version or your own vision to it. Shelly Baldwin.